Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some makeup with you guys that my daughter gave to me. Uh, she went through her entire makeup collection and she didn't want some of these things. And she texted me and she said, I got a bunch of makeup that I don't wanna keep, do you want it? And I said, I would like to at least look through it. That would be wonderful. And I think I kept pretty much everything that she brought over here. Uh, I mentioned that she had done this, that she'd given me this makeup in a prior video. And several of you said, I'd love to see what she gave you. So here we are. And then I also have a life update for you guys, a very bittersweet life update. Oh, okay. So let me show you guys uh, the makeup that she sent me. Not all of it's makeup though. Let me start off with the non-makeup items first. Uh, she did give me a couple of body sprays from Bath and Body Works. This is Magic in the Air, Fine Fragrance Mist. And I love this. Uh, actually, a couple of Christmases ago, my husband got me like a whole set of Magic in the Air stuff from Bath and Body Works. It had like the spray, it had a body cream, it had a lotion. Uh, was that it? I think that was it. And I just love this scent. It's very like, I don't know how to describe it, light and florally. And I know it's probably got the notes in here written on the back, but can't can't read that. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. And I've been using this like crazy the last few days since she uh, brought this over here. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since she brought this stuff over here, but I remember that she brought it over here a few days ago. So I've been using it like crazy. She also gave me this one. This is Lavender in Bloom. This is another fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. I haven't used this one yet, but it smells amazing. I love the smell of lavender. So I just need to put this out so that I'll use it. But yeah, mm, smells yummy. And then she also gave me this little uh, perfume thing. Uh, this is Copper Canyon, it says. And it's... Uh, Good Chemistry, I think, is the name. Or maybe is Copper Canyon the name of the brand? I don't know. Uh, this smells really nice, and it's a rollerball little perfume thingy. Oh, yeah. It's just kind of like fresh, clean, maybe a little bit of florally. Nah, mostly just kind of like a fresh, clean scent, like you just got right out of the shower. I love this. So I also need to put this out, so I'll remember to use it too. So now for the makeup stuff that she gave me. Most of this stuff is lippies. So uh, where should I start? I guess I'll just start grabbing stuff and showing it to you. This is one from ColourPop. This is the Fresh, Fresh Kiss ColourPop Lip Cream. And it's still in the box. I don't think she ever used this. And this is a really cute component. It's like square and a beautiful shade. I'll swatch this on the back of my hand for you guys. That'd be kind of fun, right? Ooh, this is kind of a terracotta. Ooh, nice. Feels good if I can get the lid shut. But there's the shade. That's really pretty. Definitely use that. Uh, I don't know that I need to put it back in the box, but for now I'm gonna put it back in the box. And then we have one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shade, I'm not sure, I cannot read that, and I don't have my glasses anywhere near me, but it's kind of like a dusky pink shade. I'll swatch this on the back of my hand for you. Ooh, this is actually kind of a brown pink. It's, it's deeper than what I thought it was gonna be. That's nice, okay, cool. And then we have this one here. This is the NYX Lingerie, profession, NYX Professional Makeup Lingerie Lip something or other. And there's no sticker on the bottom, so I don't know what the shade is. Boy, I'm just batting a thousand today, aren't I? <laughs> Let's swatch this one. Oh, this is just a little bit lighter. Well, quite a bit lighter than the one next to it. This is more of a, I don't know, what is that color? Kind of a pinky brown, lighter pinky brown. Really nice, okay, cool. And then we have this lippy, and this is uh, NYX Liquid Smile. And this is, it says LSCL39, okay. This has kind of got some gunk on it. Don't know where she had this in her makeup room, but who cares? Uh, ooh, this is nice, this is more metallic looking. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, that's pretty. That's like a deep wine shade. It's got metallic reflect type stuff in it. Beautiful. Then we have this one here. This is a NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream. And this is in the shade, I don't know, 16. That's pretty. It's a nice shade. Let's uh, swatch this. Oops, do it the right way here. Ooh, yeah, that's really pretty. It's like a kind of a light pink with metallic finish. Ooh, fun. Sydney, you did a really good job giving mommy all these goodies. Okay, let's go to the next lippy. This is the ColourPop Luxe lippy. And this is in the shade Just Imagine. And you know what? I used to have a Luxe lip 
thingamajiggy, which I think I gave to her. And I didn't really love that. Uh, but I'm going to try this one and we'll see. You know what I mean? We'll try it. We'll see what we think. And, uh, ooh, yeah. This is just kind of like a lighter terracotta. I don't know. This formula just seems kind of odd to me. It's like a glossy lippy is what it's like. This one right here. It's more glossy, not quite as like uh, opaque. But I'm digging these shades, man. Woohoo! Then we have this one right here. And this is from a Tetris. Oops, it's got cat hair on it. It's shocking. She has cats too, Lila and Ginger. Uh, I don't know what this says. It looks like a sparkly lip gloss. Tetris? Who, who released the Tetris lippies? Was it ColourPop? I remember. Ugh, my brain can't hold on to jack squat lately. Oh, yeah, this is really pretty. This will look nice over like a darker lip shade. Or just by itself, this one right here. Kind of like a, I don't know, goldy, light gold, sparkly lip gloss. Ooh, okay, cool. I mean, I'm loving everything. Uh, let's see, now we have some just regular lipsticks, which I don't really want to swatch these. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Siren. Okay, ooh, look at that. That's a dark very dark lippy. Ooh, that's gorgeous. This color is one that I would have used a ton of in the 90s. I love that 90s lip colors are coming back, or at least maybe I'm just trying to convince myself that 90s lip colors are coming back. But oh yeah, I'll definitely be using this. How fun. Then, then we have this one here. This is an Estee Lauder, right? Yeah, Estee Lauder. And I don't know what the shade is. Isn't that cute? Little component. I love that. And it's this beautiful red shade. Ooh, nice. Kind of a deep red. Gorgeous. Okay. Wow. Then we have this one here, and this is a Belle Argent. Belle en Argent. And there's no sticker, so I don't know what the shade is, but cute little silver component here. And that's a pretty color. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And it looks like she did use this, but you know, I'm not worried about her germs. I made her germs. It's okay. And that's a gorgeous shade. Okay, cool. Oh, and then we have another one back here. This is the NYX Slip slip tees nyx slip tees okay and this is in the shade i don't know <laughs> can't read it that is really pretty kind of like a brown this down here oh yeah that's really nice oh my goodness i love all of these shades that's a pretty one that one right there that's this right here Ooh. Gorgeous. Okay, cool. And there's like, you know, different variations of colors here. Okay, cool. Now that's it for the lippies. I do have uh, this face wash from Honey Jarrett or Jarrett. I don't know. This is the Clean Whip Cleanser. And I'm pretty sure she got this in an Ipsy. I'd used this before. I got this in an Ipsy as well. And I love this cleanser. It smells really good and it just works really well on my skin. So yay. Okay, cool. I forgot I, that was even in there. Then we have these three little jars or little containers, vials, whatever, of NYX uh, glitter, or like loose pigments. There's this one here. It's kind of like the silver sparkly with different colored reflex, and they're like rainbow reflex. That's really cute. That'll be fun to use. I've never used a shade like that before. Then we have this one. This is NYX pigments, and this is like a dark blue, and I would open these up, but I've opened them up before, and they're really messy, so I'm going to have to clean them up a little bit. I mean, stuff's just going to fly everywhere, so let's not do that today to go to work here. I don't need to have a big blown up blue mess everywhere. And then we have this one, uh, another NYX pigments. And this is like a kind of a rusty, sparkly, you can't really tell because of my lights. But uh, these are going to be really fun. Let me see. I think this one's not quite as, well, see how it comes. They're just like, you know, loose, loose eyeshadows in here. But uh, yeah, I've made it kind of a mess of these when I open them downstairs. Yeah, they just get everywhere wipe my hand off. But yeah, really excited to try these. That's going to be really fun. And then I also have a white base, uh, NYX Professional Makeup. This is just a really white uh, eyeshadow base. Yeah, eyeshadow base. Uh, and it's white. And she did try this and she just didn't like it. So she said, Mom, I think you, you would have more fun with this. And I'm really excited to give this a try. Although, no, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think I did kind of touch it a little bit. It's still like you know, moist enough that I think it'll apply to my lid. I know some of you don't like that word, but it's emollient enough that I think it'll work. And then the last thing here, we have this little uh, contour palette from Pure. This is the Pure Sculptor little palette here. And there's two uh, bronzer shades or contour shades and then two highlighter shades. I haven't used this yet. 
uh, but this looks nice, very nice. And I, I don't, do I have, I don't really have much experience with pure products, but she loves the brand pure loves the brand. So yes, so that's it. That's all the fun goodies that she gave me. I cannot wait to try all these things. <gasps> so now for the very bittersweet life update. So my daughter and her husband and my beautiful grandson live about a seven minute drive away from me. And they have for the past, oh, I don't know, going on a couple of years now since she graduated from college. And uh, her husband works for a corporation that is located uh, in Oregon, Washington, and California, Idaho, and Colorado. And he's been working for this organization or this business for, oh gosh, at least five years now, maybe closer to six. Like right, basically right after he got out of high school, he started working for this company. And his goal has always been to work up the ladder. That's really important to him. He is one of the most responsible and mature young men I've ever met in my life. And his whole goal is just to take care of his family. And I, I love that about him. You know what I mean? Like, I know that my daughter and my grandson are in the best of hands with him. And I've always been so proud of how dedicated he is to taking care of himself and Sydney and my grandson. You know, he's just, I could not ask for a better son-in-law. So he, like I said, has been wanting to work up the ladder and uh, really seriously wanting to do that. And so I was told, I don't know, a couple months ago that he was going to start interviewing for uh, the next position up from where he is right now, uh, anywhere that could take him, anywhere that had an opening, which meant that they could be leaving the state. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Because it's wonderful to have them so close. I love having them so close. It's wonderful. So about, what was this? Maybe a week and a half ago, I guess, I got the news that uh, my son-in-law has been hired as this higher up position in uh, one of the stores about three hours south of us. So they're gonna be moving in the next week or so. Uh, I think he's gonna be moving there before she and the baby do. Uh, and right now they're actually down there uh, so that he can kind of like meet his new staff and his new boss. And, and they're gonna look at the, they already have a rental house, which is wonderful. It's a really cute place. And uh, they used to live down there. I used to live down there too. So, you know, we're all very familiar with the area and whatnot. But uh, I will say that some tears were shed when I found out that they were moving because we see Wesley, my grandson, quite often. And uh, I just cannot imagine them not being seven minutes away by car. You know what I mean? I just can't wrap my head around that quite yet. And, uh, you know, I was just, I was happy for them, very excited for them. But there's a part of me that's heartbroken because I just want to be close to my grandson, not just my grandson, but my daughter and my son-in-law too. You know, we have a really close relationship and we love spending time together. And uh, my husband is very close with my daughter and her husband and, and his grandson. And he was equally as brokenhearted as I was. But, you know, we've talked about it and my husband's like, well, we'll just go down there as often as we possibly can. We'll just go down every other weekend if we can, or, you know, at least one weekend a month, but probably more often than that. And, you know, at this point, we'll probably just stay in hotels or maybe even with my daughter and her uh, family, my grandson and my son-in-law. Or we're, we've also talked about maybe getting a travel trailer because my husband has a truck that can haul that. And we've been wanting to do that for a long time. So this might just finally push us to doing that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just been hard. Uh, I, like I said, it's very bittersweet. I'm super happy for them. I knew this was coming. I am just really proud of their maturity and their responsibility and the fact that they're willing to relocate to have this better financial opportunity. But uh, the noni part of me is just really sad because I'm going to miss them. I'm going to miss you know, her calling me on a Wednesday evening and saying, I need to run to Target and, you know, he hasn't had a nap yet and he's pretty fussy and I really don't feel like taking him. Can I drop him off? Yes, you can drop him off. Yes, you can. You know, anytime she's ever asked me to keep him for any length of time, I'm like, yes, you know, I, I would do anything to watch my grandson and spend time with him. It's really important to both my husband and I that we have a very close relationship with him. Like, you know, we really want him to know who we are and, uh, we just love him so much. I mean, it's just unlike any love I've ever known before in my life, other than, you know, of course, how I love my children. Uh, but, you know, we're just trying to focus on the positive side that they didn't get, you know, shipped to Colorado or, you know, Southern California or whatever. You know, they're still close enough that it's feasible to get there 
in three hours. You know what I mean? I could even go just spend the day and come back. That's that's totally a reasonable thing to do too. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys that my heart's a little heavy right now. Um, you know, I think I'm accepting it more than I was when I first heard about it, but I'm still, still rough, still, still rough. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to just focus on the positive and not get so caught up in the emotional heartbroken side of things. And I would love to know too, if you guys have any of these products, what your experiences are with these products, we can chat about that in the comment section too, but I'm really excited to try all this stuff. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy. I'll see you soon. Bye. Drop it.